Hello, good morning, and welcome to C Block Rustic Waters. We're here in my base on the Breakfast Craft servers. And this morning I've been on for about 45 minutes or so. I've been doing some building. You see, I've got a building gadget in my inventory. I've been working on a cup, uh, something specific. I've been working on it down there. Down there. Um, yeah, so I decided on some kind of a shack design for the pump jack, and this will be something that we will be able to um, put into a capsule and relocate if and or when the oil in this chunk gets consumed. And yeah, it's um, it's gonna be some copper sheet metal, and I've got some factory blocks of the copper plate variety as well, and some diorite along the base. Um, yeah, and these are factory blocks as well. I think they're like orange circuit or something. And I'm just completely enclosing the prismarine section, and then we'll remove the prismarine on the inside. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get rid of the prismarine eventually. And then the inside we're gonna clean up, make it look nice, um, so that, uh, yeah, we can transport it easy enough. Just put it into a capsule and off it'll go. Um, I believe this side is 13, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so it's a little big. Um, for the capsules, we might have to upgrade it. The largest capsule we can make is a 15 by 15. And if we, we can upgrade it by adding popped chorus fruit, which we can get. We just have to go to the end. Um, so we can make it even bigger, I believe. It's just the largest craftable one is this one. And then see, you can do this one. It goes to 17 by 17. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the plan. It is going to take me a while because this copper sheet metal requires copper plates and solder. So it's going to take me a while to make enough copper sheet metal. <laughs> Gonna take me a while. Hello, Fokendov. I am doing well. I hope you are too. I'm just, uh, yeah, get some things done. Chuck some things in there. Made some more California rolls and cheese. I have made the curdling station from rats. It does not require any power. You just pump milk into the curdling station and it makes blocks of cheese, which then we can put into the Trader's Workshop and get these pieces of cheese. So that's our dairy temporarily. I did look up ice cream, which is a dairy product, and it's the same percentage as this cheese, and for the cheese is easily already craftable. So I'm just doing cheese, and cause I, yeah, I was like, hey, I can do ice cream because we have the snowball thing and you know. You're hot, I'm cold. I've got like a sweatshirt on and I wish I had fingerless gloves. I've got little finger wrist warmers for my uh, when my carpal tunnel gets bad, which I guess I put those on real quick. They're just knitted little hand warmer things um, that help just keep the joints fluid, but that might help keep my hands a little warmer. Um, <laughs> I have a moderate list of things I want to work on, so I'm going to try to figure out what I want to work on first, second, third, so on and so forth. Um, you know how it goes when I play. I just kind of pick and choose as I go. Um, we have a few new people on the server. I don't think anyone's on right now. Whoops. Wrong button. Yeah, no. And they've been traveling around, and the last time we had that happen, people, we had a thief. Now, that person's been dealt with. But I've decided I wanted to put a little bit more protection in my base, so I bought the security box from Easy Storage. I'm the only one allowed, so no one else can access my Easy Storage system. I also purchased a personal key for the storage drawers. There's no real indicator whether or not it works. There's no, like, no, no, it didn't do anything, but I just clicked it on the drawer controller 
Apparently that's supposed to be so no one else can take things out of the drawers, but because I didn't get any indication that it worked, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, I would like to get the strainers running again. Uh, I don't really need anything right now from this. I am getting stuff from the ember bore at the bedrock level. It's being processed and pushed in here. So this has not been on. It may never be turned back on. Who knows? It still looks cool and I'm not going to tear it down. So. Yeah. So a couple of things I'd like to work on today. I want to work on improving the passive mob farming that we have up on the surface. I want to continue making sheet metal for my shack down at the bottom for the pump jack. And I want to figure out some design or block palette for this the third wing, which will be this one here. I want to figure out what this one's going to look like, if I want to use the whole height, if I want to divide it up into floors, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure yet what I want to do with this section or what it's going to house. Um, yeah. I just don't know. And there's potential for me to replace the uh, reservoirs with something else. They're, I think they're way further on. Um, I don't know what they're called. What is that? 64 buckets. Yeah, no. And how much does the resonant tank hold? Um, am I not noticing it? Is it with an ender tank? Maybe if I just do... Oh, because it's the hidden recipe. Which reminds me, I should go check on ours over there. Yeah. You know, we could do... Not the open blocks. The open blocks holds eight, right? So I would want something that holds a bit more than eight. But we could do a tank that just where the glass is and just have the tank here. That's possible. Oh, this currently isn't running. Oh, it's empty. Haha, -ha, it's empty. We can, we can. Um. The magnetic craft one holds 32. This, uh... Yeah. It says no tool, but since there's nothing in there, I have to worry about losing what's in it. For you. And then we can turn this back on. And then come down here and let you fill up which it looks like you will I might need to get access to that and the insert it does look like it's filling up yep so we'll wait for that to fill up. Off it goes. Okay. Hmm. Something else. Oh, you know what we could use this side for? Okay. I want to set the traders up. I would like to get them out so that I don't have to keep unpackaging them from the lassos and get them all lined up on a wall of some sort. It doesn't have to be super fancy and I'm gonna probably put them right next to each other using rail and um, minecarts 
get them in minecarts so they don't run around and just have them lined up here. Um, yeah. Maybe I could do at an angle. I've just... mm -mm -mm. So that's a thought. I think I might do that after I actually build up that area. So I want to have a similar theme. I want the base to look somewhat cohesive and yet still look like we added wings as we needed them. You know what I mean? So I want them to look similar. That's why I did the tops the same and the bottoms the same and kind of similar blocks, you know. Just kind of make it look like they were part of the same base, but I want them to look slightly different. Um, so yeah built during different phases of expansion. Hello Silver, hello Big Mikey, hey Nuggets, nice to see ya. <laughs> so let's figure out a base design for over here and I would like to include terracotta since we have so much freaking clay. So maybe we figure out a color of terracotta that's not the cyan that kind of works with these, the rest of the area. See, we've got regular terracotta here, the undyed variety here with the diorite, you know, but I wanna come up with something for this area that, hmm. Might be worth looking at the, uh, the browns. So we've got this gray and this, the the black isn't quite black black and then we've got the brown uh, so we have those options hmm that kind of we'd be able to find definitely be able to find factory blocks to go with those with the browns and whatnot and that would still look pretty cohesive uh, I think it would be fun to work in trying to figure out some of these orangish colored blocks. Either the gears and flywheels, which would, I don't remember. Does that like join together into bigger ones? Um, yeah, I don't remember. But that, yep, I think that's the direction we're going to go. Um, so now we, I need to decide, do I need to, to break this up into different floors? I don't think I want to do this design again. Um, I'm actually considering, and this may seem pretty odd, I don't really know. If we make um, the first floor here like five tall and then remove this top section, and then what we could do is have it go out a little bit further and have to have it like move over and up and have it look completely different than matching all of these. Or we can make a match and be the similar size. This middle one I have some ideas for, but that'll be the last one we design. Hmm. So let's see here. How hard will it be to get gray? Gray. What other gray stuff do we have? We have concrete. That wouldn't be so bad. Um, the gray terracotta's got that brown color. Oh, good. Gray coral. Rocking. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Okay, we'll be able to collect a whole bunch of gray coral down there. In fact, we could start doing that now. Look at it all. We can actually see here. This is the gray. Yep, this stuff's all the gray stuff here. Gray coral. There's a lot of it, so we won't have any problems with the dye. I need to turn my thing back on. Are you on? There we 
we go. So yeah, so there's there's definitely We got some orange. Um, I think I'll collect a stack and we'll see where we go about figuring out block palette. Um, go from there. Other things that I want to do today or work on today is a cobbleworks. I'd like to figure out a thermal expansion cobbleworks. Not thermal foundation, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, we have a stack. <laughs> so I know eventually we'll get into Ender IO. They're meant to be more end game machines. So let's do let's think about thermal expansion as far as getting um cobble and stone, which I know we were getting from strainers, but since those haven't been running for a while. We're running low on stone. Sand, gravel, glass. I bet we'll eventually need silicon. What is the recipe for that? Are these two um, paired? This, this is all quartz. Yes. And it must be this one too because it's disabled. Unless all the recipes have been changed for Andrio that don't need silicon. It's not rotating back and forth, just this quartz, which we don't have a source of at the moment. Um, so there's that. Hmm. Okay, good to know. So let's tuck this in there. And we need to get some hardened clay. Or terracotta. You know, since that's what we're calling it these days. Let's get a chest and we'll, oops, well, we have two of them now. We'll put it here and I'm going to put all of that in there. And our furnace will configure to auto in and out. So that should just Yep. All right. And I have the pulverizer. I was doing some lead and tin because we need that for making the solder. If you remember, we need to do the solder blend in here. So I made a bunch of that and then we need to smelt it. Put that in here to make the solder wire. So I'm going to need a bunch of that in order to do my copper sheet metal. So yeah in progress for a lot of things right so we're making hardened clay uh, I've got some to get started on gray it's this right yep hey I have gray concrete let's take some of you out all right let's take a look yeah, I like uh, no. No gray concrete here. And then the factory blocks, I've picked them up. The ones that I started thinking about. These are the ones that are for the shack at the bottom of the world. Let's see here. I think we can't make any more. I think I'm out of stone in here. Let's get some more stone. And then, um, yeah. OK, 
Okay, let's do that and start figuring out blocks that we want from the factory block. Um, let's see. I want to see. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I can think about using that in some. Yeah, let's do five of those. Do these? Um, I don't think I'd like stacking them. Hmm. We're already using the circuits down below, so I know what they look like. I don't like the middle of those. I don't like how they connect in the middle like that. We have the giant plates that we're using. I know those batteries. I don't want to use the caution strips if I don't have to. Um, that would probably be better as a floor. So we can use some more of the gold plated circuit. And the gold framed purple would work really well. Alright, and then... No, we're using the insulation on the bottom. Um, we're going to use some of that. I don't want it transparent. And that will be on the top. That could work well. Alright, so we have a decent amount of things, and we need to do it with this as a relatively common block. So, let's see what these look like next to each other. Yes, those, those look good together. Those do look good together too. Not bad. These might be the one thing that isn't so hot. Whoops. It's got an interesting... Oh no, it looks like it might work too. More so this direction. we do that and then of course we cap it and put the bottom exactly the same I think it'll work really well I like the animated blocks that looks really neat uh-huh okay so we have an idea for a relatively you know simple block palette we'll be doing a bunch of this gray terracotta all right um, Let's get another chest, unless I... yeah. And we're just going to put our block palette in it for this layer. Over here. None of those, was it? These were just for figuring out the factory blocks we wanted to use. All right, how are we doing on... Okay. Should probably swap those lassos out very soon. All right. How are we on money? It's been about an hour since I checked. Cool. So we're almost at $7,000. That's awesome. Or Gil, pardon me. All right, so we have a block palette. We just need to create the blocks. So I'll be working on that a bit um, while we do some other things. Uh, I should check on the solder wire, make some of the sheet metal. Um, automate the bulk crafting of 
plates. That would be nice. Um, I mean, technically this is semi-automated. I just have to put ingots in here and I get plates out here. Uh, but do I want to do something more than that? Because I could do compactors. Um, these make plates, right? Yeah. I don't know if their cost is cheaper in energy. They use 4,000 energy per. You can make it to do gears as well. I don't know what this, oh, this is to make the money to go in the pneumostatic generator dynamo thing. Gotcha. So there's that. If I wanted to get rid of my immersive engineering metal press and use a smaller setup, I could have like in these little cubbies, those little these little cubbies, they have one for plates, one for gears. Um and use this utilize this room for something other than the giant setups of immersive engineering. Do we need rods? Oh, we will for... Yeah, um... Do these have... This is just metal... Yeah, we need it for metal press. The metal press is the only one that can make those for cheap. That's right. Can't make these. Um... These are made in the compactor. Oh. All right. <laughs> Interesting. Um, what are you? Interest the capsule blueprint. Huh. It looks interesting. Hmm. All right, so we will have to use one of these for rods. Do I want to just have one set up for gears and rods and wires and Plates. We don't need a whole lot of wire. Um, uses. This is immersive engineering stuff. Oh, we need it for these. And these are needed in practically every machine so far. So we need to keep that in mind. Okay. Thinking this through. I would like to use the thermal expansion compactor for plates specifically because the um, thermal expansion plates seem more compatible with recipes than the ones that I'm getting from immersive engineering just the shape of them I know that they're supposed to be compatible but yeah so there's that okay I'm gonna take a quick break need to refresh my coffee and when I come back we'll start crafting things for the making plates and and wires and all that in that room so don't go anywhere okay <laughs> I'm back and we're gonna work on getting the automation bulk crafting right now is what we're going for because 
actual automation is a little bit different. Different. Um, blades, gears, I'm writing this stuff down. Wires, and I just thought of something. See if we can get into treated wood, perhaps, because we're gonna need a lot of that if we're gonna need a lot of wiring kits, these things. And if we do uses, we use them in the future tech workshop as well. There's 46 here, 16 here. I mean, so they're clearly, these not so much. But, um, capacitors. Alloy smelter, so the Andrio machines all need them. The, in in order to make these, you have to do the empty capacitors. So we need every single time we need capacitors. Yeah, so that's going to follow us through the entire thing. So we need to make sure we can try. And I'm wondering if you can do treated wood in any other way that um, allows us for fluid crafting. Um, fluid collector, solidifier, fluid placer. Um, trying to see these other filters, fluid routers, maybe not. I don't think you can do it with a fluid transposer. <laughs> Otherwise it would show up here. Um, I bet, I bet this could be done with rats. I mean, we'll be able to do this with applied energistics eventually because there are fluid cells in here. So we'll be able to do fluid crafting that way. But I don't think there is any other form of liquid crafting. I could have swore cyclic had something, but... So what we're going to need to do is automate getting creosote oil buckets, which we can do just simply with an Endryo tank. Um, and have, have a rat do the crafting. Hmm. Hang on. Look at these. Oh, I didn't look. There are crafters. Hello. Um, sequential. Is this the thermal expansion version? So if we just automate the getting buckets of fluid, we can use... We can use a crafter. What was I thinking? You couldn't do that. This is probably disabled. Nope, it's not. This we could do and have it run by power. Um, not so sure. We can't make this crafter. It's not giving us a recipe. And this one's a merchant trade. There's apparently an assembler from Immersive Engineering. I wonder if that allows you to pump in liquids. Um, I've never used the assembler from that. There's a fluid input. Fluids in these tanks can be used to replace fluid containers like water buckets and recipes. Bingo. We can use immersive engineering assembler to create treated wood, which is maybe why it exists. 
Maybe that's why this machine exists, because it's part of the same mod. Okay. Let me jot down assembler. So we may be doing that. I granted there are, you know, we saw there was thermal expansion methods and whatnot. I don't think the thermal expansion methods have a fluid input and that would mean we would need to do an automated bucket, you know, crusted oil bucket crafter to go into a crafting table. Whereas the assembler, I wouldn't need that. I would just need to pump the crusted oil into the assembler and wood into the assembler and set the recipe and off it would go. Um, we would be able to make planks and since it holds three recipes, probably the slabs that we need and the sticks that we need. Those are all things we need to make the uh, redstone wire coils. So we need the slabs and the sticks to make the redstone wild coils. And we need these to make the wiring kits. So that's something that's going to carry us throughout the entire playthrough. So we're going to need to work on that. So that is something that I think one whole machine, it looked like it was a three by three. Um, yeah. So there's that. Okay, so first we're gonna actually make the machines to do plates, gears, and wires. I think we're gonna leave the, you know, the immersive engineering machine we have there for wires because that's the only one that'll do it other than more expensively in a workshop. So we need one for plates and gears. So we need two compactors and one with the upgrade, the gear, um, this guy. This goes in the compactor, yep. So this will buy because it's a merchant trade. The compactor, we've already made at least one. I, we've got two of these already. So we just need to make, let's make two more, one for gears and one for plates. Uh, we need a bunch of lead plates, silver gears. All right, so each one of these is gonna need 12. So we need 24 lead plate lead plate let's start figuring this out let's a so we don't have to keep hunting nope there we go lead plate which we have plenty of um we'll use these fasteners hi darkwing nice to see you good morning um, we needed the silver gears. I only have three, so we're gonna need to make some more gears. We have, we needed the wiring kits. We need pistons, which I think we're out of. Can we craft more without, we need wood. I, ugh, I hate that that only makes one when you shift click it out. There we go, we got a bunch of pistons. Um, the tempered glass. We have some of that. And then which wire coil was it? The transmission. We have those. All right, so we need to make more of the gears. Oh, this here. I don't think this works because it only puts one at a time. Yeah. That works though. Whoops, if you don't pick them up, they work. Okay. Let's see if we can make the machines. We need some solder, if I recall correctly. How's this doing? Is it all done with what we needed? Yep. And that was doing these. So we have more solder wire. 
Uh, let's do another bucket of you. And then this was crafted. That's in the engineer's workshop. Okay. What do we need? Everything? We have everything. There's for one. And two. Now we just need that gear. That was a merchant trade, wasn't it? This one. Gear working die is 200 gil. Yay. Okay, so now we have that. And we need to. One there. And one here. We'll put the augment in you. I need to upgrade you first. Let's see if I have any conversion kits. Um, if not, we'll need to buy some conversion kits. I've, let's use the reinforced one. Granted, we probably have enough money to do resonance. Let's see how much they are. Get the augment guy back out. He's the one that's got them. Um, yeah, no, they're not cheap. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with one we have. One we have. We have one of the reinforced, don't we? It's a thousand gil to get a signalum one. Um, because we can't craft them at the moment, so yeah. Upgrade you so that we can put you in and now you're for gears only now we need to get power into them and um, Be able to automate them We do power in from the bottom And do Do power in from the top, I think, and do input here and output here, and then we can do something. I, I just... Uh, if I do power in the back, I'll pull this eye out a little bit. We could play with wireless power. <laughs> could be fun. Um, I'm in here for... Do we have any crates? Yeah, exactly, Fokendov. That's exactly what I was thinking. The GPS thingy. Um, is there anything in here? Okay. I think I'd be happier with that. Uh, let's get the cyclic person. Can't wait till we have a trading hall set up. This guy, they're only 100 gil. Alright, let's just 
I think I have eight more slots. In the um, node that I have down there. So let's uh, let's do this. You right click. There we go. Oh shoot, that's all of them. No. Can we clear you? Try. Okay, it changes it. Good, good. All right, so we have those two indicated. Let's eat. We should be able to go down here. And do you, you, yes, and you. Yes. See, it says down here in chat what it's hooked up to. Two, three, four, five, six. We've used up all of our power throughput, haven't we? Look at that. <laughs> Excuse me. You realize I'm not letting my hunger down. You don't lose nutrition. Pardon? What? Ooh, this is full. Okay, so we need to get this into the generator now. Do I have my crescent hammer on me? Let me set this to out and we need to get at an angle that it's extract and we need a lever to turn this off temporarily. Very temporarily probably. Actually, um, we'll just set that to not extract, and now it should pull it out of there. So you're running. And do these have power? Yes. And yes. Fantastic. So those are set up for that, which means I'm going to just want to do another crate underneath there. Put a crate on top. So let's make some crates. Um, there's one, two, three, I just lost my train of thought. I'm like, what am I was I working on? Um, so we need to upgrade this in order for these to be available. Let's buy whatever the resonant one, not the resonant, the one reinforced. Let's buy the reinforced one. Um, I don't remember how much it was. This one was 500. <laughs> I 
My train of thought de- yes, Darkwing, my train of thought derailed. <laughs> All right, so we have a reinforced. Put you away. Let's put these in there. Okay. Upgrade you. Now I should be able to auto output. There we go. Now we're all set with plates, gears, and wires. Did I turn auto output off? Okay. Thank you. You don't need to leave these tabs open. Okay, so those are set. Yay! Oh, that makes me happy. Um, I wonder how this works for the GP- if we did a GPS marker for this. Have I looked up the recipe for the conversion kits? I have not. Um, this one is... Electrum gears and polymer sheets, which are cheap. Um... Reinforced or signalum gears. We don't have a way of making signalum, signalum really cheaply. Um, I'm guessing we need to make the signalum blend, which is redstone, silver, and copper. So yeah, I suppose we could. We don't have these in process at the moment to make that. Kind of sucks the only way to make the Signalum blend is in the chemist workshop. Uh, the resonant is going to require the Enderium, which we've already looked at this last time. We need to do um, the Enderium blend, which is... Uh, Ender pearls, platinum, and lead. Ugh. I mean, these are doable. I don't have all of these um, pulverized things, and yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Little bits at a time. So, <laughs> little bits at a time.